Alright guys, welcome back to Mill RC. Today we are going to be doing a comparison video between these two motors that you see in front of you. Um, this motor here on the left is the recommended Torque 2814 uh, 820 kV motor. Right there, you can see the words hopefully, and there it goes into focus. And this is the motor recommended for all the Extreme Flight 48 inch and 3D Hobby Shop 40 40, uh, 32 size airplanes, you know, like this right here, the MXS and all those airframes. So that's pretty cool. Um, this motor is great. It's performed flawlessly for me, and it does give good power to to your airplane. Uh, really good power, actually. Um, it's really nice. Extreme flight, you know. They recommend this, and you can combo order it with your airframe when you order it from them. And out of the box, you're going to have really great performance if you buy um, get the motor with the airframe. Then here we have the Motorola Fly 2820 kV, and both these motors are pretty much the same and, well, as far as can length, but this one is a little bit wider than the torque. And you most commonly see these two motors on both, on these 48 inch airframes. And so what, what I want to do is kind of compare um, these motors together. So. The props I'm going to be using is a Falcon 12.6 and a XOR 13.65, and uh, we're going to see if both motors can swing this. Um, the torque motor is not recommended for a 13.65. Um, now that, that's on four cell. <coughs> um, interesting thing I'm going to talk about is um, you guys don't have to do four cell on these 40 inch airframes. There are plenty of uh, higher KV motors that allow you to uh, do three cell and get pretty good performance actually. Um, and we'll talk about that later, but the batteries that we're going to be using for this testing today are regular 2200 milliamp 4 cells, 45C. This is what I'm going to be guessing most of you guys are going to be using in your 48 inch airframes. So that's what we're going to be using to do the tests. And if the battery gets too low, we'll fully charge them again just to get um, good test results, you know. Then we have the watt meter here. We're going to measure watts and amps and just take a look at that. And then I have a static thrust measure right there with the scale. I don't know how accurate that is, but you know, if we get more than the other, more higher thrust than the other, we know we're making more thrust, so um, no big deal there. So, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, motors here. Um, I've been running, I've had this one for a good year now, and it, it's great, I like it, the torque motors, it's great, it's a great motor for you, you guys to put in your airframes. Uh, I have flown this probably about five times, and I actually do prefer this just because I can swing this 13.65 with 4 cell. Um, but some of you might, you know, there's a lot of guys out there who like flying these 40 inch airframes on 3 cell. And um, this will probably actually suit you better for 3 cell if you do that because you can swing a 14 inch prop on 4 cell and get pretty good thrust that way. That way. Um, however, Motorfly does make better 3 cell motors in this size class. They're 2820. They make the one you see here, 750 kV. 950, that's probably a good 3 cell motor for you guys. The 950 kV, and then they make a 685 kV, which probably means you can fly these 48 inch airframes on 5S if you really wanted to. Or on 4 cell, you swing big old props just because the kV rating is so low. And then they make a one that's comparable to this, uh, basically the same kV rating, just a little bit bigger, wider of a can. Uh, diameter so in fact I don't know if I'll try to see if I can compare that now both have the X mounts on there but yeah I think you can get a good view right there this uh, motor fly is just a tiny bit wider so and on the specs they do say they get maybe slightly more watts but they're basically the same motor they mount on the same uh, same mount as on these 40 inch airframes so Alright, so let's go ahead and get set up. I'll bolt one of these motors on and we will get to our tests. So stay tuned until then. Alright, so we have here the Torque Extreme Flight motor on with the Falcon 12.6 prop. Um, the ESC, in case you guys are wondering, is a 45 amp, a recommended Air Boss 45 amp, 45 amp ESC. Um, this test will be on 4 cell. And uh, my testing rig is obviously the plane here with no cowling or anything. Um, that shouldn't throw the readings off too much, you know. We'll change out props if we get more thrust or watts or whatever. 
uh, we'll know that we're producing you know more power and more amp draw, etc. Uh, I'm using the HK010. It's got a very nice watt meter built into it, and uh, I like it. It uh, helps out a lot. I definitely recommend a uh, good watt meter for this hobby. Um, it definitely helps out with you know motor choosing and selection. And then here is my tie down system. I got pull tape um, on the plane here, uh, attached to the horizontal stabilizer on this fishing scale which is hot glued and taped to this board and I'm just going to stand on it to prevent it from moving forward. I don't know how accurate this is going to be but um, you know if we get more thrust then our previous readings will know we're making more thrust so anyway yeah let's go ahead power on and start the testing with the Torque 12.6 motor. Alright we got the Torque motor with the 12.6 prop Fully charged four cell, watt meter on, and thrust scale on. So let's go ahead and power up and uh, see what kind of readings we get. the test and we're gonna base probably all the data off of that prop setup when we test the motor fly but anyway that's the specs for the recommended torque 126 prop alright guys so um, just for the heck of it uh, we're gonna try the torque motor with a 1365 prop on 4 cell this is not recommended and I'm pretty sure we're gonna exceed the motor and the ESC ratings but uh, just for giggles let's see what, what, what kind of ratings we get so and I thought I saw somebody say he was running this motor with a 1365 but let's see here see what we get on that so here we go I think it was 55 amps, 53 amps, can't remember. I'll have to review the footage, but uh, five pounds of thrust, that's quite a bit of thrust. That would give you tons of power, but that's obviously exceeding the 45 amp rating, and I think the motor, this motor here is a 50 amp max rating, but you want that short burst, it's actually not too warm, so I don't know, maybe you can. I wouldn't recommend it, but I don't know, maybe it could swing a 13. 6.5 prop on 4 cell uh, stock tor torque motor but uh, anyway um, there's those readings so on to the next test alright so now we're going to try the motor will fly on the 12.6 prop um, obviously I think this is um, where the torque is going to be better the torque is going to swing the tw this prop better on 4 cell but let's go ahead and uh, see what we get anyway So yeah, definitely um, not as much thrust with the 12.6, and uh, the torque will obviously swing the 12.6 better than the motor fly, but uh, definitely interesting. So uh, one thing to mention I want to mention is I'll post all, or I'll make a list of all the what I all the amperages and wattage from all the props and motors, and we can classify them and uh, see see the results. So. On to the next. Okay, so we have the motor will fly with the 1365 prop on four cells. This is currently what I fly the plane on. So let's go ahead and get some measurements. So the watts 
668 watts. I think that's about the same as the torque, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at the torque on 12. But what we did have more is more static thrust. Um, quite a bit more ounces more um, where we had four point. I think it was four pounds and one ounce. We had four pounds. And at peak, I was saw four pounds and 12 ounces where you saw us, you know, around there. So we gained about 10 ounces more thrust with this motor. And the amps was just about the same. So that's kind of why I'm, I like for four cell. I'm definitely liking this 750 kV motor better for the four cell guys. But, um, yeah, uh, interesting test, so uh, very good. On to the next. All right, so very uh, impressive results. I'm impressed with both the motors, actually. They've uh, kind of exceeded some of my expectations, especially this one right here. But um, for four cell, definitely I like this one more. I got a lot more static thrust and a little bit more watts. And I can tell this because I wrote it all down here. I'll... After I read and all that, I'll put them on the screen right now. And that is the ratings I got from both these motors. Um, for four cell, definitely this one I think is better. Just because for about the same amount of amps, we got a little bit more watts and definitely more static thrust. So I definitely like that. So I think it's the 750 kV motor wins the four cell battle however this motor would do probably pretty poorly on three cell for you guys um, this one definitely would do better on three cell and honestly it's probably would do even better if you got a little bit higher of a kv motor around the same size and you did three cell would we'll probably beat both these motors but you know going three cell with this would definitely be you know you'd have to swing such a big prop it'd be almost pointless you know you're probably striking the ground at that point so uh, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, do a 3-cell test. Um, you're going to need a bigger prop than a 13.65. Obviously, uh, I don't have a 14-inch or anything bigger on me right now, but let's go ahead and do a 13.65 on 3-cell test. Alright, so now uh, I have a 3-cell battery on the plane with the 13.65 with the torque motor. and. Uh, I don't think this is going to give us very much amps or thrust. I don't have a 14 inch electric prop on me right now. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we get as far as amps, watts, and thrust. So here we go. Alright, there's the test, and as you can see, uh, we were nearly not any clo anywhere close to pulling the max amount of amps. So, if you're running 3-cell on the torque, um, a 13.65 will definitely be too small. You will need a 14-inch uh, prop to at least uh, probably get vertical performance out of the plane. But, uh, anyway, interesting test. Um, good to know. Alright, so, uh, pretty... Pretty neat results, but as as expected, this thing didn't have enough thrust at all or enough watts to get satisfactory performance results on three cell. But you know, if you got a bigger prop, you actually might get pretty close with this motor. So it just depends on what you guys are looking for. You know, if you're on four cell, um, I think Motorfly has better, slightly better performance than this. But if you're on three cell, definitely this will have better performance than that. So very interesting. So. Um, thank you guys for watching Mosey, and if you are if you're a fan of these videos, you can maybe uh, let me know, and maybe I'll do some more. Um, kind of be nice to see what would be like the perfect power setup for these 48 inch airframes. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's super cool. Anyway, thanks for watching Mosey, and tune in next time.